Jenna again with Resale Tips and Tales, and today I am bringing you a thrift store haul from Goodwill, um, but I'm super excited because they had 50% off day yesterday. So it was my first time I've been able to go in the area to the 50% off day. Yeah. My gracious husband allowed me to go out and watch the kids, so I had all the time to myself to go to the sale. I'll tell you though, I had mixed feelings. So normally I go during the week, and sometimes I'm lucky enough to have like a 25% off discount. Um, but this was my first time and I have to say it's a little overwhelming for the fact that there were so many people in the store. So typically there's only a few people with me that I'm shopping with during the week, but I guess people go crazy for these 50% off days. Um, and some of the people were a little rude, <laughs> but you know, I just had to suck it up and kind of enjoy the fact that I was getting 50% off. Um, but I was taking my time at the racks and I guess people wanted to kind of rush me along. So I tried to just take a deep breath and, and think about the benefits of the 50% off day. Um, but just beware, if you go on a 50% off day, the people are ruthless. So let's go ahead and get with it. Um, I want to show you what I got and how much I spent. Um, I didn't get anything too super exciting, but I did get some money that will have some profit. Um, the first thing I'll show you, I got a few belts um, and some straps, things like that. This one kind of jumped out to me, um, and I should do a brand video on this one. It's Harajuku Lovers, <laughs> um, but they make a line. It's kind of like a Japanese animation type line. Um, this is some sort of bag strap, I believe, um, but I didn't pay too much. I only paid $1.50 for that, so we'll see how that goes. The next item I got I thought was really cool it was hanging with the ties. Um, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren suspenders. So it looked like ties, but they have the suspender ends on them. So for that, I only paid, let's see here, looks like $1.50. So again, really good, good deals. Um, this one caught my eye because of the colors. Um, it is little sailboats on it, but it's a belt with the two little D rings at the end. And this is by LL Bean. So it looked like this would be a good sale for me. And I only paid $1.50 for that as well. Um, and it looked like the comps online, I might be able to get $20 for that. So that was a good win. Um, this one was hanging over a clothes rack. So things are a little disheveled too on sale days, I realize. People just kind of throw their stuff everywhere. Um, but this one was hanging over a clothes rack and the belt buckle caught my eye, but then I flipped it over and it has this cool leopard print and it's Betsy Johnson. So she normally makes a purse line that I'm aware of, um, but this was a belt. So I figured that this would probably bring in some good money as well. And for that, I only paid $1.50. Sorry if you hear my children in the background, they are playing. So <laughs> I have Kyla and Lily playing in the background. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? This caught my eye because of the brand. This is a fossil purse. And it has the F initials on it. Me. Come here. You want to say hi? Hi. Okay, go play. And it was very clean, almost like it's new. So this purse was only $5 originally, and I got it for $2.50, and I'm hoping to sell it for $20. Um, this was kind of funny. The other day on the video you might have seen, I had bought a uh, cassette tape player. It's this big box, but I have no tapes to test it with. So. I got myself a tape for 50 cents, so hopefully the tape works, and hopefully it'll tell me if my cassette player works as well. And this was the Oak Ridge Boys, so we'll see. Kind of was limited on my selection on that, you can imagine. Um, this caught my eye in the store. This is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, this is a very popular movie for some people. Um, it's very goth, um, but a lot of kids love it too. Um, and a lot of things sell with this brand, especially if you find figurines with The uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And Hi! Hey, go play, sweetie. This was only um, $2.50, it's normally $5. And my store does Hi. it by tag color, so it has this white tag on our clear tag, which means it was only $5 originally. So if I can get $20, I'll be happy. Okay, I got some shoes, and these were kind of some unique ones that I picked up. These are a little crazy. These are Nine West, which typically I don't buy, but because they are so unique, <laughs> I don't think I would wear these. <laughs> um, but I know that the shoes that are flat that are in this style, I wanna say they're called wallabies, um, but it's got this like moccasin almost stitching on the toe and they're suede leather. And because they were by Nine West, I figured maybe that they would sell well. And the heels are pretty, 
pretty high. So a stylish person, I'm sure, would wear this. Um, and for these, I only paid, let's see here, $4. So pretty good and in my range for what I typically pay for shoes. Um, these jumped out at me because they look so new. They're barely used, if even used. Um, and once I can kind of get some... There's like nothing in here, so I probably don't have to do much cleaning up on these. But these are New Balance. They're 606, but it has the suede leather on the outside, the tan. Um, they're nice um, cross trainers or hiking type shoe boots. And for these, I paid $5. So again, right in the same range I normally pay for shoes. Um, these were really pretty, I thought. They're a faux snakeskin slip-on women's shoe, but they're made by Tahari which is a good clothing brand I know. Um, so I, I grabbed these and only paid $4 for them. So I should be able to get a good amount of money for those. And then of course, my favorite brand as some of you know by now is the Brooks <laughs> running shoes. And these are the Ghost uh, series. And I looked these up last evening uh, to see what the comps were. Some of the ones that look pretty new are selling for $60. Now the problem with mine is a lot of the tread is worn on the bottom. Uh, I only paid $3 for these though, so I figured I could at least probably get $30 for these because of that tread issue. But I'll probably mark them higher and kind of see where it goes from there. I always do the best offer on there, see what a buyer will offer me, um, and a lot of times I accept. Clothing wise, I picked up some things. This here caught my eye because of the design on the back of the shirt. It's a men's golf polo, but it's by Puma, um, which isn't typically a golf brand, but I liked it because it had the golf course embroidered on the sleeve, and it's one of those dry tech type shirts. Um, for this, I only paid $2.40. So if I can get $20, $25 for that, I will be super happy. Um, this one was interesting. It's a Hollister sweatshirt. It has three quarter sleeves, so I thought that was interesting. Um, but what caught my eye is when I looked at the tag, it says irregular on it. I don't know what that means. So if anybody knows what that means, please put it in the comments below. I've got to do a little research. I don't know if this was the manufacturer had an issue with it um, and didn't sell it. Um, if somebody else maybe stamped that on there, I'm not sure. But it's a really nice, soft women's pullover sweatshirt. And for that, I only paid a dollar. So I couldn't pass it up. I figured I'd just do a really good inspection on it before I sell it. Um, I also picked up, this is a good brand for me, is Under Armour. And of course this caught my eye because it's bright yellow. It's a nice polo, it kind of looks like it's a loose fit, which a lot of men like, um, but it's got a nice embroidered gray on the front. It was in good condition. So I paid $2.40 for that. So I can at least get $20 for this, if not 25. So. A few other things. Um, these are unique, at least I thought they were. They are Burton women's shorts, and it's got this really pretty floral design on it. Burton is typically, I believe, you saying hi, Kyla? Hi. They make, if it's the right Burton that I'm thinking about, they make ski clothes or snow clothes, um, but these are brand new. So they have brand new tags, and the retail originally for these was $44.95, and I picked these up for $6, I believe. Yep, $6, so hopefully I can get $20, $25 for these. That would be great. They're really nice. I wish they were my size. I might keep them, but they're not. <laughs> and then just a few other things. Um, these caught my eye because they were, again, Under Armour, but they're very tiny. They're extra small, so hopefully my market's not too small for these, but it does have the Under Armour um, logos all over it, um, and it's a cute little color. If not, I might even give them to my daughter. We'll see. Um, they are $3.50. So I paid a little bit more because of the brand, but I'm sure I can get $15 to $20 for these especially with the summer coming up soon. And then the last thing I got is just very basic. It's just a pink, it was in the men's department, but it's a pink polo t-shirt. And I believe I only paid a dollar for that. <laughs> so I could mess that up. I might keep this myself. I really like polo Ralph Lauren, um, even if they are going out of style a little bit. Um, but it's a really nice cotton t-shirt. So I picked that up. Um, other than that, it was a really successful day. I was only in there for about an hour, so I maximized my time while I was there. So check out your Goodwill, see what discounts that they offer you. Those are the best days to get your lowest priced items so you have a higher profit. All right, guys, get out there. Happy thrifting. See you next time.